Okay, getting my screen set up here. Okay. <clears throat> Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark. And <laughs> before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. Yes, if you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is A-OK. -okay. So one more time, if you can see me and hear me, please say yes so I know everything is A-OK. -okay. okay, Lolly, thank you so much. I see a big yes from Lolly, yay. Hey, Peter, Peter's in the house. Good, good, good. All right, so Lolly's here. Hello, Lolly. Marion's here. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Max Power, I see Max Power. I see Samuel. I see Lua. Yes, Helga's here. Fantastic. All right. The usual suspects are in the house. I'm glad to see you. Welcome. Kaylee, hello. All right. Well, welcome, everyone. I want to um, say thank you for being here with me. Air Lady. Hello, Air Lady. All right, all right. Okay, 6632 is in the house. Hello. Ray Ray's here. All right. Good, good, good. Marilee's here. Adriana is here. All right, all right. So, um, well, I hope everyone's doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you again for being here, um, taking time out of your schedule to be here with me. I really, really appreciate that. Yes, I do. And um, before we do anything else, we always have a toast for good luck. Yeah, we always start with a toast for good luck. I'm happy to see you too, Air Lady. Thank you for being here. Hooray, hooray. Okay, good. All right, let's, let's have our toast, yeah? So please pick up your beverage. My beverage is coffee as usual. So um, let's, our first toast is to the green team. Yes, the supporters. They support me, they support the channel. By supporting me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So we have to give the green team a big thank you. Yes, the members. All right, so thank you, green team. Yes, there's, for example, right now, I see Marion, Lolly, and Peter. Yeah, they're on the green team. So thank you for doing that. Yes, cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, Cheers, bump, cheers, yes. And, <clears throat> and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, bottoms up. Hey, Tomas is in the house, all right. Mm. Oh, Alice is here, good, 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 good. All right, our second toast is for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, 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 no. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thank you so much, all right. Cheers, everyone. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Yes. And because we had a toast, we need to have a drink. Yes, we do. Mm. All right, all right, everyone. Oh, Nestor. Hello, Nestor. Okay, good, good, good. Good to see everyone. I'm real happy. Um, I hope you're happy. I hope you're comfortable. I hope you are ready to practice your English with me and with the chat. We are going to be here for two hours. Yes, two hours. So um, I hope you are comfortable because I want you to be here for the whole time. Yes, please do that. Don't go away. Stay here with me. Okay, great, great. Um, now for today's lesson plan. Let me tell you about today's lesson plan. And it's right here. I have it right here. We will do a conversation from my book. Yeah, 50 Very Short Conversations. And um, we will also do What Is It? It's a review from Tuesday. So I'll give you clues. Uh, well, I have four cards. Each card is um, a thing. And I will give you clues to what it is. And then you guess what it is. Then we will do, we haven't done this for a while, but we're bringing it back, everyone. Which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? We're bringing it back. We've done many, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> but I just did a new one. And so we're bringing it back. And which one doesn't belong? I will give you four things. And you choose which of the four doesn't belong with the other three. So three go together, but one does not. So you tell me which one doesn't belong and why. What is the reason, right? That's the most important part. So we're going to do that today. And got a new one too. I just did this. This is a grammar wheel. Yeah, so I, I made this this morning. It's a grammar wheel. And today's grammar point will be modal verbs. Modal verbs, you can't see it now, but we will do it. So that should be fun. Well, we're going to try it. This is the first time. So we'll see how it goes. Then, of course, we are going to do um, the members only, the members dictation cards. Yeah, so um, we do that every Friday. So I think we should get going. What do you think? Yes, we shall start. Okay, um, there is Dr. Ramirez. Good to see Dr. Ramirez in the house. Okay, okay. So let's do our what is it card guessing. Okay, so I'm going to give you clues. So what is it? And then it's a. Uh, Okay, and so we have four cards. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And because we have four cards, I need four magnets, and I have four right here. One, two, three, four. One, two magnets, three magnets, and four. Okay, here we go. What is it? Now, on Tuesday, I showed you the cards, but today I'm only going to give you clues. So you can't see the card. So this is a review from Tuesday. Okay, here we go. Card number one. The clues are, um, there, this place, it, it is not the countryside. It is not the suburbs. No, it's not the countryside. It is not the suburbs. There are, what it is, this place has many buildings. Um, many people work here. Many people live here. Um, it's very busy with, with people, busy with traffic. Um, maybe the air isn't so clean because there are many people, many buildings, uh, many things happening. Um, maybe there's, there's action happening all the time. There might be exciting restaurants, there might be um, theaters, there might be concert halls. Um, some people don't like it because there's too many people and too many buildings, but other people like it because there are many people and many buildings. It depends on what you like, right? So one more time, it is not the countryside, it is not the suburb suburbs, but it is, yes, you got it, everyone. It's the city. Yeah, it's a city. Good, good. All right, everyone. Well done. It's a city. All right, that's card number one. Card number two. Here we go. Here are... Hey, Ava's in the house. Good to see Ava. All right, card two. This goes on a head. This goes on people's heads. And they put it on their head when they finish their studies, when they complete their studies, when they complete, for example, high school. So, so when you complete high school, there's a ceremony and you wear a robe and this on your head. Also, when you um, finish university, you complete university, you um, have a ceremony and you put this on your head as well. And um, there's a gown and this thing. <laughs> and this indicates that you have completed your studies. You have finished a lot of hard work, a lot of hard studying. So it's a celebration. <laughs> you got it. It's a, yes, it goes on your head and it is a graduation cap. 
It's a graduation cap. Well done, well done. All right, all right. Yes, I'm live right now. Okay, yes. Um, Mary Ella. Mara, Mary Ella. I'm, oh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, card number three. Here we go. Card number three, and the clues are this is a geometric shape. It's a geometric shape. For example, a geometric shape will be, would be a sphere. That's a circle, a sphere. Also, a square. So it's, okay, this is not a square. It is not a triangle. It is not a sphere. It is round. All right, we have a new member, a new green team. Yeah, Poran. Thank you, Poran. All right, all right. Welcome to the green team. Yay, Poran, Poran. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are now a member of the green team. Congratulations. Your name is now in green. And real quick, okay, let me finish. Poran, let me finish these and then I will tell you a little about um, what you are now a green member and I'll tell you what to do, okay? So let me finish these card guessing or these clues. Okay, card number three. So it's a geometric shape. It is not a square. It is not a triangle. It is not a rectangle. It is not a sphere. We, this, this shape is used for, um, for like mugs. Um, it, it's a very strong shape. So you might see a bridge made of this shape. You might see um, a, a tower made of this shape because it is very strong. It's a very strong shape and it's shaped like a coffee mug. <laughs> it's shaped like a glass, yeah? Or a glass is shaped like this, yeah? A, a coffee mug is shaped like this. You got it, you got it. It is a cylinder. Very good, everyone. It's a cylinder. Very good, very good. Thank you, Lolly, for welcoming Poron. Thank you for doing that. Okay, here we go. Card number four. Card number four. Last one. This is, you, you received, this is mostly given to, for a prize. And it could be um, a sporting event. It could be a art exhibit or, you know, an art contest. It could even be um, uh, a, a uh, horse riding event. They, they do this for horse riding. And... Um, it's not a trophy. It's, it's made of, of material. The top is rounded with um, like two tassels coming down. And um, this is common for a prize. <laughs> yes, good, Erle. Okay, good, everyone. Yep, it's a ribbon. Good job. It's a ribbon. All right, all right. Yes, you did it, everyone. Woo! Okay, congratulations. Okay, let's review it one more time. What is it? It's a city. What is it? It's a city. What is it? It's a graduation cap. It's a graduation cap. What is it? It's a cylinder. What is it? It's a cylinder. What is it? It's a ribbon. What is it? It's a ribbon. Okay, good, good, good. All right, good job. Okay, real quick. Okay, Poron, thank you so much, Poron, for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. Now, Poron, to get your to get the members content, all right? You need to go to the homepage, my YouTube channel's homepage, and there's a a, a column, there's a a um, button called community. And so that's where I post all the members content, all right? So so always look at the for the community page on my homepage, my YouTube homepage. Okay, that's where you get notifications. That's where you get the members content. Okay, and remember, there's different levels of membership. So depending on your level, that you get certain content. Some content you don't get. So it depends on the level. Okay. So thank you so much, Poran. I really really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good. Well. That was 
a review from Tuesday. Today's Friday. We did these cards on Tuesday. So this was a review for you. Okay, so let's go to our next activity. We haven't done this for a long time. And so maybe some of you don't know about this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a uh, kind of a, a uh, demonstration so you can see what we're doing. So I'm not going to, this is today's, so I'm not going to show you today's, but I'll show you what we did in the past so you can um, get an idea of what we do. So actually, this is the first page. So we've done 22 pages. So we've done a lot of these. And so I stopped because I kind of ran out of ideas <laughs> for, you know, which one doesn't belong. And, but I had some requests and I haven't done it for a while. So, okay, I'm going to try. And actually, I came up with some new ideas. So, so I'm happy I did that. So we will probably keep doing these, okay? Because they're fun and it's really good for you because you have to, well, there's no wrong answer. That's what I like about these. There's no wrong answer. So for example, math, right? One plus one is two, right? There's no other answer. That is the answer. However, which one doesn't belong? There's no wrong answer. It's what you think. It's your idea. So that's what's great about this. Now, for example, I'm going to hold this up to the camera and let's just look at the first one here. So we have four items, four things. So we have cereal, we have a salad, we have yogurt and oatmeal, right? And so which one doesn't belong? And so, for example, you could say salad, right? Because, because cereal is a morning food, yogurt is a morning food, and oatmeal is a morning food. Well, it, it, it doesn't only have to be morning, but most people eat these foods in the morning. However, salad might be like an afternoon food or a dinner, you know, evening food. So you could say, you could say a salad because it's not a morning food, right? So you're giving it, or we can say maybe we can give it another. We can say um, salad because it's uh, made from vegetables, right? We could say salad because it's made from vegetables. Or we can say yogurt because yogurt is, um, what's, the, what's the word when, when it's uh, rotten? <laughs> fermented, fermented, right? So we could say yogurt because it's fermented, where cereal is not fermented, salad is not fermented, uh, oatmeal is not fermented. Fermented means it becomes, um, I don't know, the bacteria kind of changes, right? So there's, you know, sauerkraut is fermented uh, cabbage. Yogurt is fermented cream or milk. Natto is fermented soybean. So, so we can say that, right? And so it, it's up to you to decide which one doesn't belong and then give the reason, okay? So does everyone understand, yeah? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's try our new ones. Okay, let's try our, our new ones. So let me get it ready here real quick. Oh, let me get, I need my clipboard. I'm sorry, huh, I gotta get the clipboard. It's right here. It's okay, I have it right here. Okay, here we go. I got my clipboard. I need my clipboard. I like yogurt too, Ava. I like it too. Okay, here we go. Page 23, everyone. This is our, this, there's 22 here. <laughs> and this is page 23 right here. Page 23. Okay, are you ready, everyone? Here we go. Long time. This is, we haven't done this for a long time. Okay, here we go. Hey, Fran's in the house. How you doing, Fran? Good to see Fran. Okay, here we go. Oh, Air Lady, Air Lady, in the, down below, there's, it says, there's a join button. It looks like this, looks like this. Just, just 
touch this, you know, tap on this with your, with your mouse, with your cursor, and then a drop-down menu will appear and you can see um, the different levels of membership and what we do, okay? So you can um, check it out right there. Okay, here we go. This is one. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you, Lolly. This is one. Here we go. Here are the four things. Which one doesn't belong and why? A traffic light, a road sign, GPS, a tire. All right, so one more time. A traffic light, a road sign, GPS, a tire. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, I can show you the pictures, okay? So first I want you to listen, okay? So I don't want to just show you the pictures right away. I want you to um, listen first because that, that, it's a little more difficult just listening at first. So, um, okay. I'll say it one more time and then I will show you the pictures. Um, a traffic light, a road sign, GPS, a tire. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay, so I, I told you the words. Now I'm going to show you the, the pictures. And then in the chat, tell me which ones don't belong and why. Here we go. We have a traffic light, a road sign, GPS, which is actually global positioning system, and a tire. Traffic light, a road sign, GPS, a tire. Okay, which one doesn't belong and why? Remember, there's no wrong or right answer, or there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer. It's your idea. It's how you, what you think about these four things and um, how they, they compare with each other and how they contrast with each other. Remember, compare, we're, we're looking at the similarities, how they are the same. Contrast, we look at how they are different, right? Compare, we look how they are similar. Contrast, we look how they are different. Okay, let me see. Okay, Helga, GPS because it is in a car. Okay, that's, that's a good answer because a traffic light is outside the car, right? A road sign is not in a car. A tire is not in the car. It's outside the car, right? It's not inside. But a GPS, the GPS is in your car, inside, next to your, you know, next to your controls, right? All right, all right, all right. Let me look down here. Samuel says, GPS does not belong with the others because it is not related to driving. Well, I would say it is related to driving because it's showing, it's showing you a, a map and you're, you're driving. Um, the, the GPS is helping you um, drive. It's helping you get to where you are going. Okay, Anna says, um, hey, Anna, good to see Anna. Good, good to see you. Uh, Anna says, GPS, it is in the car. Good, good. Okay, um, Air Lady, why? So that's the most important thing, why? So I, in English, I want you to explain why you said GPS. Lolly says, a tire because there is no red in it. <laughs> see, there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer. So. So a traffic light has a red light, right? Um, this road sign, like do not enter, is red. And the GPS, the, the, the tracker, where you're going is red, but there's no red in the tire. So there is no wrong answer, right? It's your imagination. Okay. Um, Vilmar, a tire, okay, a tire rotates or spins. Good, good. Oh, that's very good. See, there's no wrong answer. Nice, Vilmar. 
So Vilmar says a tire spins, and so um, a traffic light does not spin, a road sign does not spin, and GPS does not spin. Very good. See, there's no wrong answer. Just use your imagination. Be clever. Um, let's see. Fran says a tire because it is not for direction. Yeah. So, well, a traffic light, I guess, you know, direct, you know, you can go straight, right? When it's green, you can go. So that's direction, right? You're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's like a, there's a, a arrow, right? You have a, a, a turning signal, right? A, an arrow, right? Telling you could turn right, turn left, right? That gives you direction. Um, a road sign kind of directions, right? Like you have to go straight, you have to turn left, you have to do something, right? And of course, GPS gives you um, direction where to go. That's good. I like it. I like it. So there, you guys are doing very, very good. Lots of great answers here. Uh, Air Lady, because GPS belongs um, in the car. Yeah, so Air Lady, a tire is part of the car, but it's not in the car. It's outside the car. So we could say um, GPS is inside the car where the others are outside of the car. Okay, let's see, Dr. Maris, a road sign because it does not move. Um, okay, how about, okay, let's see. Uh, that was Dr. Amaris. So, not road sign. Oh, wait, 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 okay. I see traffic, okay, I understand. So, a traffic sign does not move, but a traffic light changes changes color, right? It changes color. So we can say it moves, right? The sort of moves, right? The, the, the lights change colors. Uh, GPS, of course, you know, the cursor, you know, is, is moving in the, in, on the screen. And of course, the tire um, spins, rotates, that moves. But a road sign is stuck right there. And it's just a sign. It's flat. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Let's see. I got to go back here. I got lots of... Uh, Hannah says a tire because it doesn't indicate something. I like it, Hannah. It doesn't indicate anything. That's very good. So indicate, show, right? So a traffic light shows um, red, yellow, green. A traffic sign shows what to do. G GPS shows, indicates a direction, but a tire does nothing. It just, just spins around. <laughs> yeah, good, good. GPS because it works in the car. Yeah, Alice, a tire doesn't belong because it's for a car. Well, GPS is for a car. All these are for a car. So if you say for a car, that means it, 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 it is designed with a car or for the car, right? So a traffic light is designed to stop cars, to move cars. A road sign is designed to tell car, you know, to help, help us go in cars, right? Turn, tell us what to do on the road. GPS, of course, gives us um, direction where to go. And a tire is designed to move the car <laughs> or like roll the car. Without a tire, the car doesn't go anywhere, right? A, a car needs a motor, but a motor is no good without tires or wheels. Okay. Ava says, um, round lines because on the ground. Okay. Ava, I need more information. Okay, Lolly, a tire because there is no red. Okay, wait, I got, I went back too far. Okay. Read, please. Yeah, I, Air Lady, I, so it belongs in the car. All right, I already said that for you. So it's not, Air Lady, it's not from a car. It belongs in the car. It belongs in, inside the car. Okay, ah. Uh, 
All right. Oh, oh, okay. Rita says a tire is not a signal. So it doesn't, so a tire doesn't um, signify anything. Yes. So a tire does not signify anything. That's right. Good, Rita. Uh, Lolly says uh, GPS because it needs electricity to work. It needs power. But a, a traffic light needs power too. So a traffic light needs power. So these two need, need electric power where these don't. Okay. Laura says, um, three are traffic signs. The GPS inside the car is used for us. Um, I think they're all, they're all for us, right? I mean, we, we need a traffic light and that's for, to, for our safety, right? And the road signs are for our safety. So they're all for us. Okay, Air Lady, what? I don't, I don't see your answer. I don't, Air Lady, I do not see an answer. I just see read, please. And you say because belong from a car. I told you it's, we say in, in the car. The GPS is in the car, not from the car. So I've read and I've told you. Uh, henna, a tire because it's a type of circle. Yeah, but these are kind of circles too. These are circles. Let's see, Ava, GPS because I have to use um, my hand to start. Oh, okay, so, okay. Ava is saying GPS because you have to, you have to program it in. You have to, you have to make it happen. You have to set, um, a target, right? You have to tell the GPS um, where you are going. But these, you do, you do nothing. They just work automatically. But the GPS, you have to operate it. Very good, Ava. Uh, Dr. Marissa, road sign because it does not change. Good, 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 good. So the traffic light changes, like red, yellow, green. GPS change, you know, depending on the screen will change, right? Depending where you are and the tires, I, it moves. So maybe that kind of changes, but tire really doesn't change much except it just, um, gets worn out. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. Our, um, Lolly saying GPS because there's no I in it. So traffic light, light has an I. Sign has an I. Tire has an I. GPS, no I in GPS. Very good, very good. Yeah, okay, good air lady. Belong inside the car. That's right, so the GPS is inside the car. The tire is outside the car. The road sign is outside the car. The traffic light is outside the car. Thank you, Vilmar. I'm happy you can understand me well. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, Lolly says, a tra traffic lights because it can change colors. That is very, very good. That's right. A road sign does not change colors. Tire does not change colors. GPS does not change colors. But the, the traffic light does change colors. Very good. Very good. Okay. That's right. So Air Lady says, um, because I'm not green team, do you, do you have difficulty to see sometimes? My yes, because because green, it's it the name stands out, so I can see very easily where where um, the 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 other names are in gray, and so um, it's a little more difficult to see. But at the same time, I'm not always looking at the chat, right? I'm looking, I'm not always at the, I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking at the board, I'm looking at the paper. So I'm not always looking at the chat. So sometimes I miss people, but I try my best. I try my best to, to um, see everybody, but 
um, many times it's difficult for me to do that. Sometimes I miss people. But the one thing about um, having your name green, it's much easier for me to see you. Okay, good. Let's, ah, Ava says GPS is very smart. Very good. So the traffic light is not smart. No, it just changes red, yellow, green. <clears throat> traffic sign is not smart. It's just a, a, a sign. It doesn't do anything. It's just, it's flat. A tire just spins, but a GPS is tracking a satellite in space, right? And it's giving you um, real-time information. So uh, actually, GPS is very smart. I like that answer. So see, you guys have many, many great answers. So I'm really, really happy about that. Okay, let's do another one, all right? Let's do another one. Here we go. We're going to do two today. And our second one is, let me, let me take this one. Okay, here we go. Number two, everyone. Number two. A necktie. A credit card. A name badge. A briefcase. Okay, here we go. One more time. A necktie. A credit card. A name badge. A brief case. A brief case. Oh, interesting. Air Lady says, um, if, if no GPS, I am lost in the world. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I use... Um, my Google Maps many times. Many times I use my Google Maps to, to find places. So GPS is very convenient, very, very convenient. Okay, here we go. One more time. The four things are a necktie, a credit card, a name badge, a briefcase. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one doesn't belong and why? I'm going to give it one more time, I'm going to tell you what they are, and then I will show you the pictures. Here we go. A necktie, a credit card, a name badge, a briefcase, a briefcase. Okay, which one doesn't belong and why? I'm going to show you the pictures right now. Here we go. We have a necktie credit card, name badge, briefcase. Okay, which one doesn't belong and why? A necktie, a credit card, a name badge, and a briefcase. Which one doesn't belong and why? Remember, there's no wrong answers. There, there are no wrong answers. It's just your imagination. Let's see. What? Okay, okay. I thought I saw something. Champu, hello. Okay, Helga. Okay, good. Helga, I see Helga. Helga says, a briefcase because you don't wear it. What about a credit card, Helga? A credit card. You don't wear a credit card. I mean, you... You have it in your wallet or in your bag, but you don't wear it. Not like, you know, a shirt. I'm wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a mic, right? I'm wearing a mic. I'm wearing glasses. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Tomas. A credit card because we can buy things with it. That's right. You can't buy things with a necktie. You can't buy things with a name badge. You can't buy things with a briefcase. No. Nope. So that is <laughs> very true, Tomas. Very true. Fran says a credit card because with it you can buy anything. You can buy it all. You can buy the world. <laughs> <clears throat> Lolly says, a briefcase because it is a container. Very good. So 
Lolly says, a briefcase is a container. That means we put things inside it, right? We can put things inside a briefcase. We cannot put things inside a name badge, no. We cannot, <laughs> we cannot put things in a credit card, no. We cannot put things in a necktie, no we can't. But we can put things in a briefcase, yes. All right, uh, Ava, a necktie, a necktie is made from patterns. Well, it's made from fabric. It has patterns on it. So, uh, so okay, Ava, we can say a uh, necktie because it has patterns on it. It has patterns on it. It's not made from patterns. It's made, well, it's made from fabric, but um, there are patterns on it. Okay, air lady necktie, why? Please tell me why you said necktie. Helga, necktie, because it's part of clothing. Yes, so a credit card is not part of clothing, not a, a name badge or a briefcase. Okay, Zara says, G oh, GPS, we can use in our phone. Yeah, yeah, so she's going back, yep. Anna, a necktie because you wear it, very good, friend. Uh, Max Power, a necktie because it's made of cloth. Air Lady, because, um, okay, necktie is made for men. It's menswear. But a briefcase, good, Air Lady. So, so a necktie is made for men, but a credit card is for everyone. A name badge is for everyone, and a briefcase is for everyone. Very good. Uh, Alice says, a necktie doesn't belong because... It is for men, right? So, again, good, good, Alice. Ava, necktie because um, men wear it, good. Ava, Tomas, um, okay. Ray Ray, credit card because I can take um, money from my bank. Yep, so um, it's, it's money, right? A credit card is money. Lolly says, name badge because there is no I in it. Okay, necktie, there's an I. Credit, there's an I. Briefcase, there's an I. But name badge, no I. Very good, Lolly. Vasana, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm feeling really good today, actually. I'm really great today. Thank you for asking. Henna, a credit card because it doesn't remind us of businessmen. Yes, that, that's exactly what I was thinking. Henna. Hannah, good job. Yes. So Hannah says, um, she said credit card because it's not for business, right? So I, uh, we need, you know, if you go to a, a, a formal business, you have to have a, a, a necktie, you have, to, you have your name badge, and you carry a briefcase. <laughs> very good, very good. Dr. Morris, necktie because it wears only for men. So it's men's wear. Yep, so uh, necktie is men's wear. Yeah, Ava, made from fabric. Okay, you, okay, air lady, what did you do? Okay. Alice, a name badge doesn't belong because it shows name. Helga, piece of clothing. Good. Samuel, credit card does, doesn't belong because it's a smart tool. Credit card doesn't belong because it's a smart tool. Oh, okay. Okay, I see, Samuel. So a credit card has um, information in it, right? So... If you take it to the store, they swipe the credit card and information appears, right? So there's information in the credit card. Necktie, there's no information. Uh, name badge, no, it's just picture and name. Briefcase, it's just a container. So very good, very good. Uh, okay, Ava, credit card because we use it to pay things. Hernando, how you doing, Hernando? Good to see Hernando in the house. Credit is dangerous because you pay banking interest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a credit card can be dangerous. Very good. I like it. Where a necktie is not, well, it can, yeah, a necktie could be dangerous, right? It can, if you're wearing a necktie and there's like machinery, like a factory, right? 
<laughs> so, but I, I, I get it, right? So, um, a credit card can take all your money. <laughs> That's very dangerous. Okay. Um, hey, Monk, how you doing, Monk? Credit card. She says, credit card because we can buy something um, most cheapest. <laughs> okay. We get a discount using a credit card. Okay. Hong says, um, how you doing? Oh, thanks so much. I appreciate that. Ray Ray, briefcase because anyone can um, put important papers. So yeah, so, so um, anyone can use a briefcase, right? So um, credit card, not everyone can use. Necktie or name bags. Okay, good. So anyone can use a briefcase. Very good. Um, Alice says credit card doesn't belong because it is just buy something, right? So it's just the only purpose is to buy something. But the necktie purpose, I guess you could use it. Uh, I don't know. Like I think these all have just one purpose maybe. All right. Lolly says name badge because no one can have the same as you. Oh, I like it because Necktie, you just go to the supermarket or you go to the, the, the department store. Everyone, you, you know, there's not only one necktie, right? There's a many and, of the same, right? Credit card, right? Visa, everyone has the visa cards. Um, briefcase, you just go to the store, buy a briefcase. But the name badge has your picture, your name, your secret number. So it's only for you. Very good. Oh, Ellen says necktie because it's soft. Yeah, I like it. Um, it's soft and f like flexible, right? Malleable. Where, where a, a credit card is hard, name badge is hard, and the briefcase is hard. Very good, very good. I like it. Ava, briefcase because it doesn't show what's inside. Yeah, so good, good, good. So. We don't know what's inside the briefcase, but we can see the name badge, we can see the credit card, and we can see the necktie. necktie. Yeah, yeah, no secret. No secrets with those. Very good. I like it. All right. Okay, Tomas says credit card because we can play guitar with it. Huh? <laughs> I don't understand. We can play guitar with a uh, Oh, like I see, okay, like a, like a pick, right? A guitar pick. So we can use the credit card instead of a, a pick. Got it. Very clever, Tomas, very clever. Uh, Vasana says credit card and Visa card is good. <laughs> so Vanessa likes her credit card. Um, Rita says, um, the groom wears a necktie at the wedding ceremony. Yeah, so um, a necktie is for formal things, right? So we wear a necktie for um, formal things like a, a wedding, a, a, a concert, reception, and um, business, right? Formal. Mary, credit card because it's a payment instrument. Good. Credit, Tomas says credit card because we get a new one from the bank every second year. Vilmar, men of business use credit cards mainly. Well, everyone can use a credit Everyone, I think, uses credit cards these days. Ray Ray, necktie because it's important for weddings. Yeah, so formal events. Okay, Verne says credit card benefit not depending on the way we use it yeah so it's a benefit depending you can use it wisely or you can use it um, foolishly right we can use a credit card wisely like for example if you buy something pay off the credit card right away right don't don't pay little bits and then you have to pay interest so that's not that's foolish right be be wise pay it off don't buy something if you can't afford it Alice says a briefcase doesn't belong because 
it can put right. So so a briefcase, you can put things in a briefcase, right? It holds things. Very good. Dora, credit card because you take it everywhere. Yeah. You always have your credit card, right? But you don't always have your tie. You don't always have your name badge. You don't always have your briefcase. Okay, very good. Well, I'm going to stop now and we're going to do a new activity. We're going to switch activities, okay? All right, let's switch. I'm looking at the clock. I have to keep time. I have to keep aware of the time. I have to keep aware of the time. Now we're going to do something new. Okay, I'm going to try this. This is the first time. This is debut. This is a, this is the debut of the grammar wheel. Yes, and today we are doing modal verbs. Yeah, so we have 10 modal verbs here. Okay, so I'm going to spin it and then I want you to make a sentence using the modal verb, okay? So this, we're going to spin it. <laughs> this is kind of, this, first time, first time. Yeah, I'm not gonna use my finger, but my finger works pretty good. I have, I have some magnets here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the magnets there. I'm gonna put the wheel here, okay? And then I'm going to put it, I'm going to draw an arrow. Okay, like this, like this, like this. Okay, and so, so where, where it stops, nobody knows. Okay, so I'm going to bring it out here. So wherever this points to, I want you to make a sentence. Okay, so this is a brand new activity. I call this the grammar wheel, okay? So um, I want you to make a sentence. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Here we go and spin. Where is it stopping? Oh, it worked. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Is it going to work or not? But it worked. Okay, should. Should, all right, so that it stopped on should. Oh, Lucy, first time, yay, welcome, Lucy, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope to see you come back every, every week. Please come back every week, okay. Should, that is our sentence, all right. So, should is, we use should, for um, a recommendation okay recommendation or advice all right so please um, give me some should sentences okay air lady should I have coffee? Yes, you should. Okay, so she's asking advice. Should I have coffee? Yes, you should. <laughs> of course you should. All right, good one, air lady. Um, oh, Ava, thank you. Ava welcomed Lucy. Good job. Thank you, Ava. Friend, you should be a dancer. Advice, you should be a dancer. Good, good, good. Um, Ray Ray says, you should sleep early. Yes, that is good advice. Good advice. You should sleep or you should go to sleep early. You should go to bed early. Good advice. Uh, Lolly says, um, I should learn phrasal verbs. Yes, that's a recommendation to yourself. Yeah, recommend. I should learn phrasal verbs. You are right now. You're no problem. You know these, Lolly. Helga, everyone should eat Healthy food. Helga has recommendation or advice for everyone. Tomas, um, I should be more clever. <laughs> you are very clever, Tomas. You are very clever. Ava, um, should you help? Or should I help? Should I help? You would say, you should help. Okay, so you want to say, you should help. Uh, should, should, should. I want to see sentences. 
Oh, thank you, Peter, for welcoming Lucy. Thank you, thank you. Max Power, you should apply for the entrance exam. Very good, Max. Good advice. Good morning, Theo. Okay, um, Dina, uh, should I study English every day? Yes, you should. Yes, you should. We should be careful. I think so too, Rita. I think so too. Anna says, um, I should wash the dishes. Oh, they're piling up. The, the dishes are dirty. You should clean them. Um, we should talk to each other when we are not having classes to practice our English. Good advice. Good advice. Dora, should I go to Mexico? Yes, you should. I like Mexico. Dr. Maris, um, you should visit your grandma. She is sick in the... Oh, no. You should go see your grandma. She should learn English. That's, I think so too. We should all learn English. <laughs> we should all practice our English. Tomas, um, should, should I stay or should I go? That's the clash. <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Okay, uh, Samuel, you should be patient. Ah, oh, Verne, you should be there. Hannah, you should eat healthy food to lose weight. Good advice. Ray Ray, you should study hard. Alice, should I have, should I have known how to speak English quickly? No, it takes time. You shouldn't have, no. Or you, don't worry about that. God, the how, God is in the house. Um, I should study English every day. Yes, you should. It, okay, Mayor Vanessa. Uh, should I learn English with you? Yes, you should, <laughs> Tomas. Should I stay or should I go? Um, I think you should stay, Tomas. You should stay. Monk, uh, I should lose weight. Me too. I need to lose some weight as well. Uh, Lolly, you should study English every day to be fluent. Yes, you should. That's good advice, recommendation from Lolly. That's a recommendation from Lolly. Fran, you should drink more beer to be happy. <laughs> Fran says you should drink more beer to be happy. Okay, cheers, Fran. <laughs> cheers, Fran. Vilmar, uh, should I die before I become fluent in English or will I achieve the... I don't know. Just never give up, Vilmar. Keep, keep going until the end. <laughs> keep, keep trying until the end. <laughs> That's what I say. Like, like the tortoise, right? Like the tortoise that just keeps moving, doesn't stop. Okay, nice, nice. Let's do another one, everyone. Hey, there's Alisa. How you doing, Alisa? Mwah. Okay, let's do another one, shall we? Okay, let's do, we're going to do another one. Here we go. We're going to spin Spin it again. Here we go. We're spinning the wheel. Where is it going to stop? Well, will. Will. All right. So our next is will. Will, will, will. Okay. Will. And of course, future. Let me, let me write this again. That is not very clear. Let me do it again. Let me get a better pen. Okay, will we use for future. Future and um, probability. Probability. Okay, probability. So, um, today it will rain. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking out the window and yeah, today it's going to, it will rain today. It will rain. So, like a high probability. So, it's a high probability. So, most likely, high probability. So, most likely. Most likely. Okay, most likely. Okay, okay. So, 
Here we go. All right, you guys already have sentences on the board. Ava says, um, will you can... Oh, okay. Ah, uh, so you... No, Ava, you're mixing two. Can you help me, please? Or um, will you help me, please? So you're, you're using two, two of those, um, two, two of the modal verbs. So you say, will you help me? Will you help me? Uh, Lolly, um, you should eat more vegetables every day. Okay. Okay, Alice, will you go to travel? Okay, we don't need, will you travel? Um, will you go tomorrow? Will you travel tomorrow? So I want a time. I want time there. Air Lady, will you be my teacher forever? <laughs> Will, only will. I'm going to be here for a very, very long time. I don't know about forever, but I will be here for a very long time. Actually, everything I'm, everything, I'm on YouTube, so even when I die, you can still watch me on YouTube. <laughs> so I will be forever on YouTube. Yes, I will. <laughs> um, let's see, Alice, uh, Alisa, sorry, Alisa says, um, Will this pandemic ever end? Will it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, really, to tell you the truth. I can't tell you when it will stop. Um, I will go to Japan in 2021. I hope so, Fran. I hope so. Vilmar, I'm going to do my chores tomorrow, but will I really? Will I really? Well, probability, I don't know. Uh, okay, Zin Zin, I'll, I will study English every day because I want to improve my English skills. Very good. <laughs> Ava, will you help me? Yes, I will, Ava. Yes, I will. Lolly, um, I will get the door. Someone is knocking at the door. Very good. It's happening right now. Yes, I will get the door. Good, good, good. Verne, uh, I will be back next week. Good, good. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy. Um, I will, okay. Um, I will work today. I will work today. I will work today. Dora, I will go to Mexico next week. Oh, have fun. I love Mexican food. I love the people. I love the food. Um, Mexicans are very, very friendly people. Air Lady, you're welcome. Um, Vanessa, I will learn with you. Thank you. Thank you for that. You, I love you guys. Alisa says, I just missed it. <laughs> it's moving fast. Alisa, will you hang out with me tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's hang out. Let's hang out. Dr. Morris, um, I will be there in 30 minutes. See, you got nice sentences, everyone. Gada, um, hello, dear Mark. Hello, everyone. Gada, hello. Air Lady says, you will be alive for many. I hope so. I hope so, Air Lady. I hope so. <laughs> uh, Lolly, um, I will have a shower after the class. Okay. Make sure you shampoo your hair. <laughs> Don't forget to rinse. <laughs> um, Ava, I will, work I will work every day. Me too. I work every day. Lolly, I will have coffee. I need it. Yes, you do. I'm sure it's very early in the morning for you or late at night. Um, okay, Tomas. I will be young forever. All right. All right, Tomas. Uh, Eva, thank you so much for your help. Mwah. Lolly, of course, Tomas. Okay, uh, Vanessa, I will go, I will go visit you sometime. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Vasana, I will visit you sometime. I will visit you sometime. I hope you will. I hope you will. Anna, will you help me with my English, please? Yes, I will, Anna. Of course. I'm right here for you. I will go to Honduras next week. Okay. Oh, you guys are traveling. Lucky. I can't go anywhere. Japan is still closed. We can't leave. Still can't leave. Marcos, I will travel to an English-speaking country when this pandemic is through or over. It's better to say over. Yeah, I want to go back 
and see my friends and family when this pandemic is over. So I want to see my family and friends when this pandemic is over. Eva, I will go to visit my parents. Okay, good. Okay, we don't need go. So Eva, I will visit my parents. I will visit my parents. I will visit my parents. Um, will you take out the trash later? Will I win some money in the lottery? In the lottery. I don't think so. Chances are bad. <laughs> Tomas, chances are low. I don't think so. We will go to LA. Oh, I want to go to LA. I want to go to. I want to go to LA. Gada, um, I will have another city next week. So I'm busy. I will leave to another city. Okay, I will leave to another city next week. So I am busy. All right. Uh, Fran, I will go to the cinema tomorrow. Alice, I hope I will visit Mark in Japan. I hope so too. That would be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Ellen says, um, by the will of fate, I will go to another country. Okay, um, by will of fate, I will go to another. Yeah, okay, I like it. By will of fate, I will go to another country. I like it, I like it. Good, Ellen. Eva, um, we can already travel. Nice. Not in Japan, we can't. Not in Japan. Anna says, I'll go to America one day. I hope so. I will go to America one day. Me too. <laughs> Me too. One day I will go when this, when I get the vaccination. When I get the vaccination, I will go. But in Japan, we still don't have our vaccinations yet. Still, not yet. Japan has been very slow about the vaccinations. Very, very slow. Ugh, I'm angry. I want my vaccination because I want to visit my family and friends. Okay, Marin is going to the barber shop, not me. I will not go to the barber shop. I will not go to the barber shop. Okay, well, I'm looking at the clock. We got to change. It's already 11. We've been here for one hour already. So I'm going to, I'm going to change activities. Okay. So we will, we're going to do, I'm going to make more of these. Okay. I'm going to make different grammar um, points. Okay. So we will do more of the grammar wheel. All right. We will do more. So, however, right now I want to um, stop and I want to change activities. Okay. So our next activity Let's go ahead and do our um, dictation cards. Okay, so I want to, I'm going to take things out of order today. Okay, we're going to, we're not going to be our usual order today. Okay, I don't know why. I just decided, hey, let's do something. Let's, let's, let's change up the order. Let's, let's change up the order. All right. So our next activity is dictation cards. Yes, dictation cards. So you need a pencil, you need paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word, okay? So please get a pencil and paper because we are going to have dictation practice. And actually, we're going to have four steps. Yes, four steps to success. Four steps to success. Yes, we are. Step one is going to be dictation. Step one, dictation. Okay, step two, shadowing. Step three, pronunciation. Step four, quiz. All right, so those are our four steps to success. Step one, dictation, you're going to listen and write down what I say. Step two, shadowing, that is speaking practice. You're going to listen and speak at the same time as I do. So that's speaking practice. Then we're going to have pronunciation practice. Then we're going to go slowly. We're going to, we're going to pronounce each word clearly and slowly for pronunciation. And then we're going to have a quiz, all right? And today's topic is um, come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up. 
All right, so come up. Okay, you could see it, and it means arise. Um, arise. Okay, a, a problem. An opportunity. Or situation happens. Okay, so come up means arise. And so a problem, an opportunity, a situation happens. Okay, all right. And our sentences were made by the members of the channel. The green team made the sentences. And the people are Monk. Fran, so Monk is here, Fran is here, Ava, Ava's here, she did hers, Seiru is not here, but Seiru has a sentence, Rita has a sentence, Rita is here, Dr. Ramirez has a sentence, she is here, Larissa has one, but I don't see Larissa, Larissa is not here today, A for Anna has a sentence, but I don't see her. Miley has a sentence. She can't be here because of the time. Sophia has a sentence. She can't be here because of the time. Marion has a sentence. Marion is here. And I did one. <laughs> I have one today, okay? So um, I, I did one card. Okay, so are you ready? I'm shuffling up. Oh, uh, Air Lady, very kind of you to say thank you so much. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the, the kindness. Uh, Gada, Mark, I am green team. Why is change? I don't know. What do you mean change? What, 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 what changed, Gada? You're, you're, you're green, Gada. So um, please ask me one more time. Oh, stop shuffling. Okay. Oh, Ava, my husband got the Pfizer. Okay, nice, nice, nice. I don't have my vaccine. I need it. Okay, here we go. So step one, dictation, all right? So please um, listen carefully, write down what I say. I'm not gonna show you the card. You're not gonna see the card. You're not gonna see the picture. You're not gonna see the sentence. You have to purely listen and write. So it's a challenge. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here okay so are you ready here we go countdown card number one here we go five four three two one number one the truth sooner or later comes up so each time i'm going to read three so the second time the truth sooner or later comes up The truth, sooner or later, comes up. Oh, good. Ready. Are you ready? <laughs> ready? Okay, good, Vilmar. Here we go. Card number two. Card number two. The sun always comes up in the east. The sun always comes up in the east. The sun always comes up in the east. Number three, I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. Zenab, hello. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. 
Hello, Nor. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. Okay, here we go. Number four. Number four. The sun has come up. <laughs> The sun has come up. Yay. <laughs> Good morning. The sun has come up. Good morning. Number five. Number five. He had come up with a cherry smile. He had come up with a cherry smile. He had come up with a cherry smile. Number six. And I don't know what cherry smile means. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means, cherry smile. But it sounds nice, huh? cherry smile. So to me, cherry smile sounds... Um, red lips, cherry smile, maybe a big smile, a bright smile, right? I've never heard that expression before, but I like it, cherry smile. I think it's nice. Okay, number six. Here we go. Number six. Come up with your own sentences. <laughs> Come up with your own sentences. Come up with your own sentences. Okay, number seven, number seven. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. I like it. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. Okay, number three. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. Okay, number eight. Number eight. New work came up. New work came up. New work came up. So two, four, six. This is nine. Yeah, number nine. nine, ten, nine. Number nine. Everything will come up roses. Everything will come up roses. Everything will come up roses. Number 10. I came up with a new plan. I came up with a new plan. I came up with a new plan. Okay, we're at 11 now. Two more left. Two more cards. Two more cards. Number 11. I came up with a solution for the issue. I came up with a solution for the issue. I came up with a solution for the issue. Okay, number 12, last card, number 12, last card. And this is a long sentence, so 
12 was the long one. Okay, here we go. Number 12, last card. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. Dictation. That was dictation. Nicely done, everyone. Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay. Shadowing. Now it is time for speaking practice. All right. Speaking practice. And I spotted a mistake. So there is one mistake. <laughs> I hate making mistakes, but I noticed a mistake. So I will, there is a mistake here. I will, um, I will show you the mistake when it comes up. Whoa, 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 yeah, did you see what I did? I just used the, I just used the idiom, come up. There is, a, okay, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna do it one more time. There is a mistake, I made a mistake, and I will show you the mistake when it comes up. Okay, here we go. Shadowing time, countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Speaking, yeah? Not writing, speaking practice. So say these with me at the same time. The truth sooner or later comes up. The truth sooner or later comes up. The truth sooner or later comes up. This is Miley's sentence. The truth sooner or later comes up. The truth sooner or later. That's, oh, there's a, there's a little, the printer. Oh, okay. The truth sooner or later comes up. Yeah. So the truth will, everyone, everyone will know the truth sooner or later. Everyone will know the truth sooner or later. Okay, card number two. The sun always comes up in the east. <laughs> yes, it does. The sun always comes up in the east. The sun always comes up in the east. Yes, it does. And this is Dr. Ameris's sentence. The sun always comes up in the east and goes down in the west, yes. So this is sunrise, the sunrise. So it's morning, so the sunrise is the, is, happens in the morning. Okay, number three. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. <laughs> I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. Many of you heard your names come up, yes? <laughs> All right, this is Sewu's sentence. She's not here right now. She's not here today. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. Yeah, I like that sentence, Sewu. I like it, I like it. Okay, number four, number four. The sun has come up, woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, we will live another day. The sun has come up. Yes, the sun has come up. Yes, if it doesn't come up, then we are dead. Yeah, so it's important the sun comes up. Yes. <laughs> this is Marion's sentence. The sun has come up. So, so actually maybe right it's a cloudy day it's a rainy day but oh the sun has come up i see the sun so 
that means the rain is going away. So yes, so I like sunny days. Number five, he had come up with a cherry smile. He had come up with a cherry smile. He had come up with a cherry smile. Okay, <laughs> this is Sophia. He had come up with a cherry smile. I don't know what a cherry smile is, Sophia. <laughs> but it sounds nice. It sounds nice. A cherry smile. I know, like a big smile, a, a bright smile, a cheerful smile, an angry smile. No. Um, uh, a lovely smile, but I've never heard a cherry smile. But I like it. I like it, Sophia. Okay, number six. Come up with your own sentences. Come up with your own sentences. <laughs> Come up with your own sentences. Come up with your own sentences. This is Rita. So, use your original. Be original. Come up with your own sentences. Yes, be original. Okay, here we go. Number seven. Oh, this is the mistake. Ah, I don't like mistakes. I, mm, I made a mistake. So I will, I will tell you the mistake. I'm sure as soon as you, as soon as I show you the card, you're going to notice the mistake. You're going to go, Mark, you made a mistake. You did a spelling mistake. Okay, here we go. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. Now, what do you think this, the spelling mistake is? Do you have any idea? So in the chat, what do you think the, mis the spelling mistake might be? What do you think the spelling mistake might be? So I'll read the sentence one more time. Which word do you think I misspelled? If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. Now, I, there's a spelling mistake. I just now, like, ah, I saw it. When I, was, when I was typing, I didn't notice. And then now I'm reading it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, dang. So, leaf, yeah, Lolly leaves so it, it's it's a it's a irregular plural yeah irregular plural so right there so it's it's not fs no 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 not fs it's ves just look at lolly so lolly leaves so everyone look at so lolly has leaves lolly is correct it's not fs not fs oh i have a question comes up is right yep yep so comes up the wind comes up because it it's um the the it comes up he comes up she com it so the wind it comes up so it's it's the yeah good rita Yep. So yeah. So everyone. So so leaf and then leaves. So the plural. It's not plural s. It's it's um it's irregular plural. No, I don't like doing that because I just get angry with myself. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Ava. Good. Y yeah. You know. Air I'm always making, it's an easy mistake. It's an easy mistake. And it's one of those things. Good, good. So, a good, okay. Ah, this is a good point too. So, Air Lady says, I know it's leaves. So, so what, what happens if you notice your mistake, right? Then you'll remember it more, right? You'll, you'll have a deeper memory. So, like, ah, that, it's not F, it's V-E-S, right? It's not F-S, it's V-E-S. So um, next time, perhaps, um, won't make that mistake, right? So it's good to point out your mistakes, 
to notice your own mistakes and um, just just put it you know in your deep memory so you don't do it again yeah okay here we go here's our next card here we go card number oh number three so henna has a question num card three. Oh, i heard my name come up so so here my name come up so i come up so we don't say I comes up, I come up, you come up, we come up, they come up. Okay, so that's a good question there, um, Henna. So, I come up. Okay, let's, number three. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go, next card. Remember, we're, we're shadowing still, okay? Okay, count down to continue our shattering here. Five, four, three, two, one. New work came up. New work came up. New work came up. Oh, Air Lady, yeah, no, I'm always making mistakes, Air Lady. I always make mistakes. Okay, this is Ava, and I'm happy Ava has new work, yeah? New work came up. New work came up. So that means she got another job or she got her, her business grew, right? More, you know, her, her business, um, more people came for her help. So new work came up. So that's great. Okay, here we go. Next card. Everything will come up roses. Everything will come up roses. Everything will come up roses roses everything will come up roses this is my sentence so that means everything will come up roses mean it will be great everything it will be good it will come up roses so it will be successful whatever you um whatever you maybe it's a new job oh it will come up roses oh um it will be great it will be successful Everything will come up roses. Yes, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Next card. I came up with a new plan. I came up with a new plan. I came up with a new plan. Oh, okay, hold on, Tomas. I came up with a new plan. This is Monk. Yeah, so, so a new idea, like, okay, so Monk, like, okay, a new plan. So maybe, you know, what you're doing now isn't working so well. And so you're thinking, okay, how can I make it better? I need to come up with a new plan. So I need to make it better. And then Monk, oh, I know what to do. So Monk came up with a new plan. So Monk is going to find a better way. Okay, good. Um, okay. Let's see, Hartzell had a good question. Where's, I didn't see Hartzell's question. Where's Hartzell? Let me, let me go back. Oh, okay. Hartzell says, uh, so why you don't say, I heard my name comes up? Because I, I'm the subject. So I, so we, I is I play. Okay, so come is like the verb, right? And so, I play, I read, I go, I do. So, um, I heard my name come up. I come, you come, they come, we come. So, that's why. Okay? Okay, okay. Let's, um, number 10. No, 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 no. This is 11, sorry. This is 11. Okay, we're continuing with the shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. I came up with a solution for the issue. I came up with a solution for the issue. I came up with a solution for the issue. I just said Tomas, so why don't you say I heard my names come? 
so, so no, no, no. I, I come up. I heard my name come up. I, I, so, so I comes. We don't say I comes. We don't say I plays. We don't say I goes. No. I go. I play. I come. Thank you, Hannah. So my name is in third person. I heard come up. I heard what come up? Yeah, so I heard, I heard um, the, the TV come up. I heard the news come up. I heard the, I heard the uh, cooking show come up. I heard the, I heard the, the topic come up. Okay, here we go. I came up with a solution for the issue. A, for Anna. Okay, so this is Anna's. And so, I came up with a solution for the issue. So, so there's a problem. There's a problem. And so, so Anna, she, she, she had a solution. So she, she had a fix. She, she, she knew to, she could correct the problem. She could fix the problem. She can um, make the problem successful. She, so I came up with a solution for the issue. So the issue, a problem, and she solved the problem. She solved the problem. I came up with a solution for the issue. I, I had a solution. I had a fix. I had a, um, I know, I knew what to do. Oh, thank you, Ava. Yes, so it's warming up here in Japan. It's getting warmer in Japan. Yeah, it's becoming um, spring here in Japan, so. Thank you for noticing my shirt. <laughs> yeah, olive green. Yep, I like this color. Yeah, I like olive green. Okay, here we go. Card number 12. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. This is Larissa. So a problem came up. A problem happened, so, so we couldn't go on the field trip because a problem happened. A problem came up. N no, 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 no. Rita, leaves is a noun, so plural noun, so that's, that's different. Um, a verb, come, okay, that's the verb, and so that changes on if it's first person, second person, third person, all right? So third person S. So for example, Rita, um, he plays, she plays, it plays. All right. So conjugate the verb. So so first person, I play. Second person, um, second person, um, <laughs> Mark plays. Right. Rita plays. Um, third person, he plays, she plays, it plays. Okay, so, so, um, all right, or second person, you, you, sorry, sorry. So I play, first person, second person, you, you play, and then third place, third person, he, she, it, Rita. Okay, so it's different nouns. So leave, leaf is singular noun, one, one thing, and then if there's more than one, it's a plural noun, so leaves. So it's different than, than come, the verb, okay? Okay, so this is Larissa. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, 
but a problem came up. So a problem happened. Oh no, so we couldn't go. Trouble happened, so we couldn't go. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Oh, 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 okay, Rita. No, I said your shirt is green like leaves. Okay, okay, Rita, I understand. Okay, good, good, good. Helga says, um, live stream work, we were supposed to go on a field trip, but the problem, but a problem came up. A problem came up. So not the Helga, a problem came up. Tomas says, the olive green and yellow are a fit together. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Tomas. Okay, let's check it off. We did the shadowing. Okay, now let's let's go over pronunciation now. Okay, so let's let's read the sentences slowly, okay, and let's let's um, pronounce each word, okay? So let's pronounce each word. Okay, here we go. Pronunciation practice. The truth sooner or later comes up. The truth sooner or later comes up. The sun always comes up in the east. The sun, the sun always comes up in the east. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. I heard my name come up during Mark's live stream. The sun has come up. The sun has come up. He had come up with a cherry smile. He had come up with a cherry smile. Come up with your own sentences. Come up with your own sentences. Come up with your own sentences. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. Okay, so it's not F, it's V, 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 V. So the le it's not F, so leaves is spelled wrong. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. If the wind comes up, the leaves will fall. New work came up. New work came up. New work came up. Everything will come up roses. Everything will come up roses. Everything will come up roses. Come up roses. I came up with a new plan. I came up with a new plan. I came up with a new plan. I came up with a solution for the issue. I came up with a solution for the issue. I came up with a solution, solution for the 
issue. The issue. Okay. We were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend, but a problem came up. We were supposed, we were supposed to, supposed to, we were supposed to go on a field trip this weekend. But a problem came up. We were supposed to, supposed to, supposed to go on a field trip, field trip this weekend, this weekend. But a problem came up, a problem came up. Hard, so I don't understand. Please correct this sentence. I heard my dog. I heard my dog's name come up during Mark's live stream. So you need you need the apostrophe s. Your dog's name. Your dog's name. So apostrophe s. Possessive s. Possessive s. So apostrophe s. My dog's name. Whose name? Your dog's name. Okay, okay, good, good. So that was pronunciation. So let's check it off. Okay, quiz time. Now the quiz, I'm going to shuffle the cards so they are out of order. Uh, yeah, wait, 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 Hartzell, yeah, please correct. Okay, I heard my dog's name come up. So heard is past tense, right? So I heard my dog's name come up. I, you're the, that's the subject. So no S. I, so my, I heard. I, I is the subject. So who is doing the action or like who, who's, who's like the action is happening to you, right? I heard my dog's name. So the action is happening to I. So that's the subject. So the action is happening to the subject. So I, I heard. Yeah, I don't, that's this. yeah, I don't know your dog's name. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to take the first three cards. And then I'm going to cover the sentence. So I want you to write the sentence in the chat. Okay? I want you to write the sentence in the chat. Okay, what is the sentence? Please write the sentence. What do you remember the sentence? Oh, Nor, question. Oh, those are, I don't know those questions, Nor. I don't know those types of questions because, um, you know, we're just doing, you know, I could just only see your, your, um, your chat, right? So it's hard. I can't really, I could only see your sentences, right? That's the only way I could, um, you know, give you feedback is from your sentences. So, so we're not face to face, so I, I can't really judge your English. It's hard for me to know those, those, those types of questions, right? Okay, Helga, the sun has come up. Marion, the sun, ha Alice, the sun come up. Lolly, the sun always comes up in the east. Hartzell. Okay, uh, this, let's see. Fonda, the sun has come up. Ava, the sun has come up. Alice, the sun has come up. Rita, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> okay, yeah, oh, Rita's in um, Brazil, so it's midnight for, for, for Rita. Good night, Rita. See you, see you next week. No problem, Lolly. Okay, let's... 
It's like close to the same. Yeah, it, I understand. Yeah, Rita, that's, that's, that's not a big mistake. I understand because similar, similar um, topics. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And the sentence is, the sun has come up. Very good, everyone. Okay, card number two. Card number two. Yeah, that's right, Vilmar. Okay, what is the sentence? What is the sentence? What is the sentence? Do you remember? Do you remember the sentence? Okay. Ah, Peter. Gada. <laughs> oh, Gada, thank you so much. Very, very kind, Gada. Very, you're always kind to me. You're, you're a member and you, you extra support. I really, really appreciate that, Gada. You, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm going to, yeah, your name goes up on the wall of beautiful people. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your, your wonderful, wonderful support. Mwah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Everyone, you got it. He had come up with a cherry smile. <laughs> That's Sophia, yeah. A cherry smile. Let's everyone use cherry smile, okay? Oh, he has a cherry smile. She has a cherry smile. So let's say, let's, let's take cherry smile meaning bright, right? Like shiny, right? So, so he has a, a bright smile. She has a bright smile. He has a cherry smile. She has a cherry smile. So let's start using that, all right? That's, I like it. I like it, Sophia. Okay, card number three. Here we go. Last card. Last card. What is the sentence? This is Ava. Ava's sentence. What is it? Yeah, Tomas, like a sweet cherry. That's right. And, you know, a cherry sweet and bright red, and it's um, kind of shiny, right, and delicious, right? So, so a, a cherry smile could be delicious. Yeah, a delicious smile. A bright smile, a a a a um, like a red, uh, like a deep red smile, a delicious smile, a cherry smile. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good, everyone. New work came up. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. Everyone, you remembered. That's great. That's great. Okay. Yep. New work came up. New work came up. So it's good. Have new work. That's good. That's good. New work came up. All right. That was the members dictation cards. Congratulations, everyone. We did four steps. That's fantastic. Now let's continue. Yeah, we've been here for two hours already, but we, we, we got to do a little bit more. Okay. We have to do a little bit more. So please, um, everyone, stay with me. Be patient. Stay with me, and let's let's um, let's do a conversation, shall we? Let's do a conversation. And um, I know we've been here for two hours. Let's let let's. I I feel good. I could I could I can go longer. How about you? Can you go longer? I hope so. Let let's. Okay, Ray Ray. So, oh, that, that's, there's will, okay, so Ray Ray has, okay, request will and going to. So, they're both future tense, right? Um, will is more like immediate, like, um, like for example, Lolly had an example, um, um, I will get the door. Oh, I heard the doorbell, Bing, like, ding dong, ding dong, oh, 
I heard the doorbell. I will get the door. I will get the door. So it's future, but it's happening like in the near, like now, right? Oh, I will get the door. I will have some coffee. Okay, so, so this is, you know, the near future, all right? Going to is more like future plan. So, for example, um, next summer, I'm going to America. Or um, if I get, when I get the vaccine, I am going to America. So that's more into the future. So there's lots of nuances, but for now, because of time, okay, Ray Ray, so let, let's, let's just think about this. So will is short in the future, short time in the future, near future, where going to is more like a plan later in the future. Okay, so I will get the door. Be like, um, ding dong, I will get the door. Next year, I'm going to America. Okay, so that's planned further. Or like, um, yeah, immediate decision. Thank you, Lolly. So maybe it's not a plan, right? You're just deciding now, oh, there's the door. I will get it. So it's not a plan. It's not a decision, right? Or it is a decision, but it's not, it's not a plan. Thank you, Lolly. Where like going to, you're making a plan in the future. Let's see, Tomas. Um, if you have a plan to go to holiday, then I am going to go to, yeah. So it's a plan in the future going to. Yeah, future planning. Yes, yes, good, good. Thank you, Max Power. So actually, Ray Ray, you guys can help each other. Like for example, for me, um, I don't want people to get bored, so like I don't want to start explaining grammar and it takes a long time. So if you guys can in the chat do it, I think that's more beneficial, right? And so, and, and, um, so if you guys know the answer, please say the answer in the chat. Yeah, Ray Ray. So, there's lots of little nuances, right? Like will and going to, right? So there's, there's many ways to use it, but that is the simplest way. Um, will is unplanned future, going to is planned future, okay? <laughs> All right, let's, let's um, do our um, conversation, okay? So our conversation today is, is from book one, my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. And we are going to do conversation number 28. Number 28. And again, invitation. So last time, so there's two, for each topic, invitation, there are two, two conversations, right? So last week we did invitations, and this week we are going to do invitations, okay? So um, first I'm going to read the conversation. So please, please listen carefully. Want to come over? I can't. I have to study. Too bad. I'll be done in a few hours. Come over when you're finished. See you in a couple of hours. Okay, let me do it one more time. Want to come over? I can't. I have to study. Too bad. I'll be done in a few hours. Come over when you are finished. See you in a couple of hours. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Oh, there's a lot of English due to pandemic. Yeah. So mm, that, you're here, you're here, air lady with me. So we're doing it together. We're doing it together. Okay, I'm going to write the conversation on the board, but I don't want to erase. So I'm going to take a picture. Well, uh, I'd like to put it all. Okay, I have to take a picture because I need to erase this because I need room for the conversation on the board. So before I erase, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard and then I will put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So that way you can check it out anytime you want to. So there, I got the camera, I got the camera on. Now I'm gonna step over here. You can't see me, but you can hear me. And I'm gonna take a picture of the whiteboard. Okay, countdown.
four, three, two, one. Okay, I got, got the picture. Okay, now I'm going to erase this right here and write the conversation on the board. If you have a book, that's great. You can, you can look at your book. But that, if you don't have a book, then no problem because I'm going to write it right here on the board. So, so if you have the book, great. Thank you for your support. If you don't have the book, that's okay because I'm going to write it. All my pins are starting to lose ink now. Okay, here we go. A, B, A, B, yes, two people. Are we, okay, I'm here. We can see, okay, A, wanna, wanna, wanna come over, wanna come over, wanna come over, B, I can't, I can't, I can't, I have to, I have to study, I have to study. I have to study A. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. B. I'll. I'll be done. I will. I'll be done. I'll be done in a few hours. In a few hours. I'll be done in a few hours. So not planned, right? It's not, it's not like a future plan, right? It's not like, okay, I, I'm going to decide, right? It's just like, oh, asking me now? Oh, okay, I'll be done in a few hours, right? So you ask me, so it's, it's right now. It's, it's, I'm, I'm deciding right now. So, so it's um, short in the future, unplanned. Okay, A. Come over when you're finished. Come over when. Come over when you're finished. You're finished. Come over when you're finished. B. See you. See you in a couple of hours. In a couple of hours. Okay, there's the conversation. Okay, now we, we can practice now. Okay. Wanna come over. So wanna is a is a contraction. So that's actually a um, um what's the word? Like a colloquial or um a, a maybe irregular contraction. So it's not a normal contraction, right? So it's more like spoken, right? So one, two, wanna. One, two, wanna. So that just, we don't, we don't write that way when you're, when you're, like if you're writing a paper or for business or for school, we don't write wanna. That's spoken English, right? Not written English. So just wanna. Wanna. Wanna come over? So one, two. So it kind of just blends into one word. One, two becomes wanna. Wanna. Wanna come over? Wanna come over? Want to come over? Do you want to come over? Wanna come over? I can't. Oh, I can't. I have to study. I have to study. So I have to study. So I have no choice. I have to. I have an obligation. I, I'm, I, I have a test. And so I have to study. So I, I have no choice. I have to study. Too bad. Too bad. So that, that's a shame. Too bad. Ah, that's, that's a shame. I, I, would, I want you to come over. So, but you can't. So that's a shame. Too bad. Too bad. I will be done in a few hours. I'll be done in a few hours. I'll be done in a few hours. So we're talking about will, right? So I will be done. So here, he gets a phone call, right? And so he, he's not expecting the phone call, right? So you can see there's a phone call. So he's calling. 
So this is unplanned. It's, it's unplanned for him, right? He's studying. He has no, his only plan is to study, right? Then his friend gives him a call. Hey, want to come over? He goes, I can't. I have to study. And, ah, uh, too bad. And then he goes, oh, I'll be done in a few hours. So I'll be done studying in a few hours. So in the future, in two hours in the future, I will be finished. Okay, so I'll be done in a few hours. A says, Come over when you are finished. So come over when? So um, when you are done studying, come over to my house. Come over when you're finished. You are. Come over when you're finished. And then B says, see you in a couple of hours. See you in a couple of hours. So couple, couple is two, right? Like two people. Oh, they're a nice couple. <laughs> they are a sweet couple, two people. So couple here is just around two, about two. It could be two, it could be three, around two or three. So um, a few, same, right? A couple. So a few hours, a couple of hours, same, same meaning, maybe two hours, maybe three hours, right? So a few hours, a couple of hours. So same, same meaning, okay? Okay, good, good, good. Now, let's, okay, Nor has a question. Can you say, I can't, I should study? Uh, you can, but it, 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 okay, that's a good question, actually. So, it's nuance. So, that, Nor, that's actually a good question. So, um, I should study, you're, you're saying um, you'd rather. So, here, a is inviting you over. Want to come over? So A is being friendly. A is inviting you over. Okay? So here A, A is inviting. Oh, please come over to my house. So that's, that's friendly, right? That's, that's being friendly, inviting someone to your house. But I can't. So I have to say. So, so B has no choice. I have to where should you have a choice? So, oh, I should study. So that sounds kind of rude, right? So, oh, want to come over? I should study. So that means I'd rather not go to your house, okay? But here, this means like, I want to, but I can't. I want to see you. I want to come over, but I can't. I have to study. I have no choice. I have no choice. And so A feels, um, so, so A understands, right? A understands like, oh yeah, you have to do this. So hmm, it, it can't be helped. I understand. So no problem. But if you say I should, that means, ah, so you're making a choice. You, your choice is to study. Your choice is not to come to my house. So it's a little rude. It's a little, it sounds a little rude. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, that's good. So, Vilmar, I write, I'm not sure, but I write, I only try. That's how you do it. Just do your best. That's the, that's the way to do it, um, Vilmar. That's how you improve. That's how you get better. Okay, let's... Okay, okay. Ava, you're tired. You have to go. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna... We're almost, fun. We're almost finished here. We're almost a little bit more. Let's practice the conversation okay so let's let's um let's go over a little little more pronunciation and then we will role play okay so let's go a little bit more okay um here we go let let's let's go over um fluency let's go slowly and quickly slowly and quickly okay here we go wanna come over wanna come over wanna come over wanna come over i can't i have to study i can't I have to study. I can't. I have to study. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Helga, um, please explain using I'll be done. I will be done. I will be finished. So I'll be done in a few hours. So I will finish in two hours. <laughs> I will finish in 
three hours. I will finish in a few hours. So I will stop studying. I'll be done in a few hours. I'll be done in a few hours. I'll be done in a few hours. Come over when you're finished. Come over when you are finished. Come over when you are finished. Come over when you are finished. See you in a couple of hours. See you in a couple of hours. See you in a couple of hours. Okay, you're welcome, you're welcome. Ray Ray, should advise can't ability. Yeah, I mean, it depends on, it's, you know, not that, it, it, it mostly depends, like on the situation, right? So, um, should, right here, I think we did should here. So, recommendation, advice, yeah. So, can't, right, ability, I can't play golf, I can't play tennis, I can't do it, so I can't do it. So please come over. I can't do it. And then I have to is um, like you have no choice, right? No choice. I have to do this. You have no choice. Okay. Mm. Ava. Okay. Good night, Ava. Mwah. All right. Um, let's, let's role play. All right. Let's role play. This is our last... Our last um, our last activity, all right? So let's be the conversation. I will be A, you will be B. A, B, A, B, okay? So let's practice being this conversation, okay? So let's go. I will start with A, you will be B, okay? Let's count down. Five. Okay, hold on, Vilmar. Hold on, Vilmar. Okay, real quick. Okay, Vilmar. Um, come undone. I don't know. Come undone meaning to... to um, lose, lose it, like become, like come undone. So lose your cool, lose like your, lose your, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, your, 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 your posture, your cool, right? So undone, you're, 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 you're becoming angry or you're becoming sad or you're becoming, you're changing your emotion. You're changing your emotion, right? So like, okay, I am, I am cool. I am, I'm together. I am together, meaning I'm confident. Yeah, okay, together, undone, all right? Together. So I'm together, meaning I am strong. I, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I am together. I'm not, my emotion is no, like I'm, I'm, my emotion is strong, my emotion is cool. Uh, and then come undone, meaning you, you, you change your emotion, you become like opposite of together. You're like coming sad, you're becoming hysterical, you're becoming angry, right? So you're losing your cool, you're losing your, um, your prestige. Okay. Let's, oh, yeah, it's a song. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, songs are hard because they're used, they play with language, right? It's like poetry. So songs are very difficult because they're, they're not using like standard English. A lot of songs, they're just using like their, their um, expression. And that's what's hard about learning another language, like in your own language, right? So, so, Vilmar, you're, you speak Portuguese, right? So, so, in your own language, in Portuguese, you understand all the little nuances. You can, you, you know, there, it's not standard Portuguese, and you can play with it, right? Like, you know, songs, they play with the language, and they change the language to make it rhythmic, you know, rhythm, rhythmic, and they, you know, to make it sound nice, and so they, they change the language. But it's not standard, right? And so when you're, when you're studying another language, it's hard to understand those little nuances, to understand how, the, how the, the, the writer, the singer, is changing the words to make it 
fit their song. So it's hard, right? So it's, I don't think it's a good idea to break down songs because it, it can make you confused. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's, let's do the conversation. I will be A, you are B. Let's do countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Want to come over? Too bad. Come over when you're finished. All right, see you in a couple hours. <laughs> okay, good, good. Actually, let's do a phone call. I'm sorry. This should be a phone call, shouldn't it? Okay, here we go. Let's do it one more time. We're on the phone. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring, bring. Hey, want to come over? Too bad. Come over when you're finished. Okay, see you in a couple hours. Bye. Okay, let's do it again. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. Want to come over? Ah, too bad. Okay, come over when you're finished. All right, see you in a couple hours. <laughs> Okay, good. Let's switch, all right? You are A, I'm B. A, B, A, B. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, I can't. I have to study. I'll be done in a few hours. Okay, see you in a couple of hours. <laughs> Bye. Okay, let's do it again. A, B, A, B. Brum, brum. I can't. I have to study. I'll be done in a few hours. Okay, see you in a couple of hours. Bye. Okay, let's do it one more time. You are A, B, A, B. Brum, brum, brum. I can't. I have to study. I'll be done in a few hours. Okay, see you in a couple of hours. Bye. <laughs> hey. Well done, everyone. Okay. Um, actually, okay. If you have to go, that's okay. I want to um, just, I was going to plan something a little bit. Okay. Um, if you have to go, I understand we've been here for a long, long time, but I'm going to continue until... Um, I'm going to, a little bit more, okay? If you have to go, I understand. Um, if you can stay, that's great. If you can't, I understand, okay? So um, I just want to talk about wanna, okay? And um, so, yeah, so these are informal contractions. So I want to do a couple more informal contractions, and I want you to tell me what the two words are, okay? So contraction, putting two words together, right? So, wanna, so the two words, want to, so it becomes wanna, all right? So, I'm going to give you a couple others, and you tell me what the two words are, okay? Okay, here we go. Coulda, 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 okay? So, what are the two words? Coulda. What are the two words? Coulda, coulda. Okay, so what, what are the two words contracting? Coulda. Coulda. Yeah. VJ, yeah. Coulda. Coulda. So I could have. Yeah, could have. I c could have. Could have, coulda, coulda. I could have gone to the store. I could have gone to the store. I could have gone to the store. I could have, I could have, I could have, I could have gone for, I could have, um, I could have done my homework. I could have done my homework. So I could have, could have. Yeah, okay, good, hard, so good. Okay, let's do another one. 
gimme, gimme, gimme. What are the two words? Gimme, gimme. Yeah, Vilmar, could have. Yep, coulda. Okay, our next one is gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, Mary, good. Gimme, gimme. 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 Hey, say whoa. <laughs> All right, say whoa. We're like, we're overtime. So great, say whoa. Good to see say whoa's in the house. We're only going to be here for a little bit more, okay? Say whoa. We're like way overtime. So a little bit more. Good to see say Another kiss for say whoa. Okay, so we're, say we're, we're doing contractions right now, informal contractions. So, for example, wanna is one, two. So, wanna, that's informal of one, two. Coulda, informal, um, could have. And now we're doing gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes, give me, give me. Give me that, give me that paper. Give me that book. Give me that pencil. Give me that, give me, give me a, Give me that chocolate. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me. <laughs> give me that. Give me that. Yep, so give me. Okay, good. Next one. Ada. 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 Yeah, we're almost finished here. Okay. Ada. Ada. What, what's that? Ada. Ada. Dummy. <laughs> dummy, dummy. So in, in Japanese is chodai, chodai. <laughs> in Japanese, chodai, chodai. Um, ada, ada, ada. Yeah, you got it. Good, Hannah. Yep, ada. Yeah, this is spoken. Yep. So it, it's informal contractions. Informal, informal. So it's speech. Ada. Good, good, Vijay. Yep, you got it. Ada, ada. Ought to, right? So, ought to. So, ought to, like, advice, right? You ought to go, to, you ought to study more. <laughs> you ought to, you ought to go to the gym. You ought to take a walk. Yeah, so I ought to go to the park. I ought to go to the park. Yeah, I ought to go to the park. I ought to go to the park. I ought to go to the park. Good, good, heart. So yeah, ought to. Ada. Oh, wait, I spelled it. No, no, I didn't spell the contraction. Sorry, sorry. Ugh, that's, it's, <laughs> I didn't spell the contraction. Sorry, I, my mistake. So, um, ada. There we go, ada. Ada. Okay, you know what? Okay, we can, let me see. Okay, I'm looking at the clock here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Coulda, gimme, ada. Let's do another one. Okay, one more. Kinda, 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 kinda. Thank you, Tsewu. Thank you for that. Okay, kinda. 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 What, what, is, what are the two words? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Good, Miss Lu. Yep. Kinda. 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 So, it's kinda orange and black. Right? My, okay. Oh, that, that car is kinda, um, kinda sporty. That... Oh, he is kind of mean, or she is kind of pretty, <laughs> okay, or she is kind of, kind of tall, she's kind of short, um, it's kind of, it's kind of narrow, it's kind of, it's kind of small, so kind of, so, so it's kind of, so we're using like, um, sort of, right? It, it's a little like, 
Okay, so we're using it to describe something. Like, so it's kind of big. So it, it's it's a little big. It's we're we're being we are estimate we're giving an estimation. We're not sure exactly. We're we're kind of guessing. We're we're um, saying that it's close. So it's kind of big. It, it, it's kind of far. It's kind of it's kind of uh, inconvenient. So it's kind of it's kind of long. So we're we're giving it an estimation. We're 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 kind of guessing. We're giving it. Um, we're we're not sure. Oh, Ray, Ray, I say this man is kind of what. So you need to like we we have to we have to give a, an adjective, right? So this man is kind of tall. This man is kind of short. So we're 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 guessing. So we're ge we have to. So Ray, Ray, you're missing the adjective. So so this man is kind of what? So describe. Describe the thing. That's right, Tomas. Kind of big means not absolute. Right. So exactly, Tomas. So not, you know, like pretty. Oh, it's pretty tall, right? So it's not tall. It, it's close. It's close. He is kind of strong. Yeah. Yeah, so so not real. He's kind of strong. He's he's a little strong. He's pretty strong, kind of strong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, well, I'm going to. I'm getting it. Got it. I'm getting got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay, good, 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 Tomas. Okay, I'm going to take another picture. And this time we're gonna get the the conversation in the picture. So today I will upload two pictures, two whiteboard pictures to my Facebook group page. Okay, two today. So you can check them out. So I got the camera. I'm gonna take it. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna take another picture. That way we get the conversation this time. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got the picture. Okay, thanks so much, everyone. You guys stuck around for a long time. Yeah, we're here over two, well, two and a half hours, just about two and a half hours. So thanks so much. Um, I know a lot of you, it's, it's late or early or you're busy. So I really appreciate you guys being here with me. I really, really do. And um, I just want to say thank you, green team. Yeah, I want to say thank you, members. For your kind support and if you want your name to be green please um, support me so I can support you help me so I can help you become a member yeah and also I have books yeah so you get my books at amazon.com so please um, check out my books I have a website markcoolick.com with flashcards and worksheets please check that out so um, Thanks, everyone. And I will be back on Tuesday. Yes, I will be back on Tuesday. That will be May 11th. All right. So May 11th, 5 p.m. All the times are in the descriptions. OK, so please come back. Be with me. Please um, actually go come to my channel every day. <laughs> I, I have I have videos up there almost every day. So please um, do that and tell your friends and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, okay, Hernando, you're welcome. You are very welcome, Hernan Hernando. You're welcome, Hartzell. Thank you so much. Samuel, thank you. Okay, Helga, I'm happy. Uh, Marion, you're welcome. Have a great weekend. You too, Marion. Thank you. Dora, thank you. Miss Lucy, I want to see you, but I had to work. Thanks a lot. Okay, um, I'm happy you're here right now, Lucy. Um, yeah, Samuel, thank you. Dora, thank you. Air Lady, you too. Have a wonderful day. Air Lady, have a beautiful weekend. We're, we're here in Japan. We're ahead of you in, in the United States. So here, for me, it's Friday morning. But for you, I think it's Thursday evening. Yeah, so we are ahead. 
So um, I will enjoy my day. Thank you. Air Lady, enjoy your evening. Enjoy your night. Tomas, you're very welcome. Peter, thank you. Alice, you are very welcome. Oh, Lucy, thanks for the kisses and hugs. Mwah. Kisses and hugs. Mwah. Kisses and hugs. Thank you for that. Okay, Lua, you're welcome. Um, Eduardo, you're very welcome. Goodbye, Air Lady. Miss Lucy, oh, you're very kind, too kind. Vijay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here with me. Um, yep, great weekend, everyone. Air Lady, great weekend. Vilmar, take it easy, buddy. I'm glad you're always here with me. I appreciate that. You've been here with me for a while now. Yes, Vilmar, yes. We know each other well, I think, now. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, um, let's count down to saying goodbye, shall we? Let's do it. Oh, oh, I want to say one more time. Gada, thank you for the extra support. Gada, sorry. Mwah. Thank you so much, Gada. I really appreciate it. The extra support. Love you. Mwah. Thank you so much. Okay, let's count down. Oh, Air Lady, too kind. Tuesday, yes, Lua, please be back on Tuesday. Okay, let's count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everyone, thank you. Love you. Have a great weekend. Be careful. Smile, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.